Hello, my name is Ben Sayer. In this video, I'm going to install Family Tree Builder from MyHeritage. I've already gone to the MyHeritage site, so if you look up here on the, the location bar and uh, point your browser to www.myheritage.com, in here you'll see on this navigation bar, they've got a selection for downloads, and if you click that one time, that'll take you to a page where they have some nice screenshots of Family Tree Builder and give you some background information about it. And then in throughout, it's got this button that says Download Family Tree Builder. It's free. So if you click that, it'll start to download that, depending on what browser you have. That'll look a little different for you. Once you've got it downloaded, navigate to wherever you're downloading your files to. In my case, it's this folder. And we've got this file called FTBDL, so that's Family Tree Builder Download. If you double-click that file, that will open up, give you this dialog box warning you, asking you whether you want to run it or not. In, case, in this case, we do. You can pick your language. Uh, Family Tree Builder supports 29 different languages, so I think you should be covered. I'm, I speak English, so I'm going to click OK here. And I'm just going to close out this window in the background and let this installation run. Okay, so a little background information. We click Next. A license agreement. You'll want to read through that if you want to sleep. And then click I Agree. This is where you want to install the file. I'm going to, the files, I'm going to accept the default location and let this run. Okay, there we go. So now it, it uh, is finished. We can click the Finish button, and um, I'm going to leave this option selected to actually have it run the program so you can see that it's installed. And let's get this window out of the way. And it's got some registration information here we're going to want to type in the first time. Okay, and then it's again got terms and conditions. And once you've got all that entered in, you can click register now. Now it's registered. And there we go. We're in. It'll give you some introductory information and um, set you on your way to loading um, a GEDCOM file or creating a new project.